Hello squaddies, how are you? I hope that all of you are doing well and welcome back to another episode of Brian Squaddies. And today I'm so happy and I hope that all of you are, especially after the release of uh, the Netflix docu-series of Harry and Meghan. This docu-series has made my past few days for sure. And have you actually seen how this docu-series has performed? Like it has actually scored the highest ratings in most countries. In the UK, in the US, in Canada, Jamaica, France, even in uh, South Africa, even in Kenya, Argentina, Germany, name them, all the countries. Like it has made uh, the highest ratings in almost all the countries. How amazing is that? And I'm very surprised that it even made to the top list in UK, considering the fact that the tabloids are so loud there, always preaching or spreading hate against Meghan and Harry. But it's now clear that there are so many people who are on the side of Meghan and Harry compared to the haters. There are so many people who actually want to see the truth. There are so many people who actually believe in them other than those who really hate them. I'd actually told you all, I told you that all these people are going to just say, uh, they, they're going to talk bad about these docuseries. They're going to say how bad or boring it's going to be. And yet they're still going to watch it. Now look at the numbers. Look at these numbers. Like people have actually watched it. And it's very creepy if they really didn't like Harry and Meghan and they still ran there to see the docuseries. Because how do you say you hate someone and still go out there and see what they're doing or what they have to say? That's creepy to me. And you know what they usually say, that numbers don't lie. And the message of Harry and Meghan, it has reached a lot and a lot of people, the vast majority of people. And those who would like to hear them and hear the truth from them, this message was intended for. And I have no doubt in my mind that it has actually changed the view of most of the people who were on the other side. Those people who hated Meghan and Harry and they have seen the truth and now turning to uh, to actually love them. I believe that there's some of the people who have actually changed to that. But there are some of the people also who have like stuck with their opinion and just taking what the tabloids have said, just taking them like that and like still hating on Harry and Meghan, which is not fair. Like people really need to open up their eyes and see what Harry and Meghan are saying and it's very true. This whole docuseries actually was about how the British media has played a huge role in uh, negatively impacting the lives of Harry and Meghan. Like since even a young age when he was in his 20s, even when he was just a child, Harry never liked the press. Like there are always these photos of him or just the press all over them. And uh, this made him really uncomfortable. That's what he said in the documentary. And uh, this same press led to the death of his mother. So this was something that was really traumatizing for him all through. And even before Harry married Meghan, he said that he didn't know if uh, this person that he was going to marry would be willing and capable of withstanding all the baggage that comes with being with him. That's what Harry said. And so getting to marry Meghan, like he was just fearful of the history repeating itself of the press treating his wife as they'd done to his mom. And now, immediately after they'd even announced their relationship, the media, the media started like flocking into her, Megan's house. And another picture was taken of Megan and she was like, shut, she waved at the press. And then now people started saying that she was smiling at, at the pups. Now she loved them. Like she loved, loved pictures of her being taken. At that time, Megan was so innocent, she didn't know if this was the right thing to do or this was the wrong thing to do because people would always criticize everything that she did. And apart from just surrounding the, her house, Megan's house that is, the media even paid her neighbors to put live stream cameras into her backyard. Imagine that. And I am talking about the British media going all the way from the UK to Toronto in 2016 just to stalk Meghan because she was now dating Prince Harry. This is so creepy. It's just, I don't know. I don't know even what to say because it's really scary even. Uh, and even before she married Harry now, and now it was like days to their wedding. 
the media now started even following up on Megan's family, like her father, her mother, her sisters, just to dig up something about Megan. They may have succeeded through the dad because he gave in to the paparazzi, staging photos with them, but at least Megan's mom stood by her side. She has stood by Megan's side all through. And we thank God for that. We thank God for Doria because she's an amazing woman. She's an amazing mom to Megan. And she's an amazing grandmother to Archie and Lilibeth Diana. Even after putting Megan and Harry through all that, the Daily Fail, the Daily Mail <laughs> hasn't stopped yet. They just want to destroy Harry and Megan. And even just two days ago, after the release of Harry and Megan, they put out a headline that states that Harry and Meghan fails to break list of Netflix top 10 shows in the US in the first 24 hours, which is not true. Harry and Meghan have topped uh, the list in the US on Netflix. And so the Daily Fail had begrudgingly reversed that statement. And you know what? Meghan was right. This is not a Daily Mail. It's called a Daily Fail. Maybe we should just rename it to that. They should rename themselves to Daily Fail. Because they are not a daily mail. Everything that they say is false. And people should not rely on what they say. Because it's clear that everything they say is false. And they are just spreading hate and hate after hate. They are so obsessed with Harry and Meghan failing. Which is not happening. Because they are landing deals after deals. And everything for them is going very well. While the daily fail is just there trying to make profits. Through hating of people who are just amazing human beings. It will never work. Harry and Meghan are going to like always prosper and what makes me happy is that the daily fail is just confirming everything Harry and Meghan said and the whole world is now seeing it. The Daily Mail actually published like 65 articles about Harry and Meghan in the first 24 hours of release of Harry and Meghan's release for them constantly accusing Harry and Meghan of attention seeking it's giving them an unbelievable amount of attention. Harry and Meghan literally broke Netflix after its release and I guess even next week it will be worse because now we are eager for even more content and everybody is waiting. So next week, everybody be better get ready because it's even going to be much, much worse than it was this time. Just take a look at all the ratings of Harry and Meghan in different countries. It's so amazing. Like how it's performing, it's unbelievable. The way that all these tabloids and all these like British media trashed it. It's unbelievable that it has reached here because people didn't know that Harry and Meghan were these famous. They didn't know that they were this popular. People actually loved Harry and Meghan. And the people don't believe uh, all these negative narratives that they're telling them. Because it's a hate for profit for the British media and all the tabloids. It's just a hate for profit. People are now began to like turn to the side of love and as we always tell you love will always win and it can be clearly proven here love is winning and i can tell you one thing for sure between now and february 2023 it will be a payback for the british uh, media and for the royal family for everything that they've put Meghan and harry through this week and next week it's about harry and Meghan documentary and uh, on February 2023, it will be about um, Harry's pair. At least Harry and Meghan will continue to pay their bills for a while now. <laughs> right? And I can also tell you that these people know the truth. The media knows the truth. They know that Harry and Meghan are good people. They know that they are genuine people and everything that Harry and Meghan are saying is true. But you know, they're just hating on them so that they can sell their content. It's about hate for profit. This is what all these things is about. Just spreading hate about Harry and Meghan so that they can sell their content. But they know that Harry and Meghan are just genuine and really good people. Even Harry say that the royal family and the media know the truth. But they're not willing to say it. They're, because first of all, the, uh, the royal family doesn't want Meghan and Harry to outshine the so-called William and Kate. That's the reason why the royal family is like against Harry and Meghan. But for the media, it's about selling their papers. It's about selling their content. That's why they are uh, publishing all this negative stuff about Harry and Meghan. But deep down, they know that Harry and Meghan are genuine people. 
everything that Harry and Meghan are saying is true. And so it's just good that Harry and Meghan are saying all these to clear their names. They're just saying all these for people to know the truth. For those who are still in, like, don't know what has actually been happening, at least for us, the Sussex squad, we have always supported Harry and Meghan and we always know that what they've been saying all along has been true. It's now time for these other people to know that, like, to hear the truth from Harry and Meghan themselves. And I hope that people are going to open their eyes and see this truth because it's now or never. Now is the time to see what Harry and Meghan are saying because this is the thing that has been going on for a very long time. And you all remember even the Piers Morgan saying that he knows Meghan is a good person. Just take a look at this. Very intelligent, I thought very smart. Very charming, very warm, very direct with eye contact. She was a really nice person. And she seemed to me to have a sense about her of being concerned about issues, concerned about the planet, the environment, women's rights. She's got that campaigning streak too. But I really liked her. You know, I mean, I, you know, I'm just sad I lost her as a friend. It's like <laughs> Harry. You, know, you could have thought of me here, buddy. <laughs> you really? Um, you're quite bitter about this. Well, I'm not bitter, just sad. <laughs> yes. You know, mainly because I don't get the Suits episodes and that really kills me. <laughs> Uh, but also, I thought we—I just thought we were friends, Megan. What happened? <laughs> but I, I, I get it because uh, Harry. The moment it became serious, there's no way Harry wants Meghan Markle anywhere near media people. Just mm. Period. Doesn't mean I haven't ruled out that I might get an invite to the wedding. So you haven't yet? No, but I just think Meghan will be sitting there thinking, you know what? I owe that guy one. I really owe that. What guy does she one. owe you? She owes me an invitation to the wedding to make up for cutting me dead. <laughs> Piers Morgan turned into a hater when he didn't get an invitation to Meghan's wedding. And he even used to stalk her on social media. So Piers Morgan is a hypocrite and so are the UK media. And the fact that the UK government is actually having all these meetings and giving interviews about Harry and Meghan Netflix show is just so embarrassing. Like, what are you doing? Don't you have better things to do? Like... Where are they finding all this time to do these interviews where they have stacks of letters from constituencies who can't afford groceries? Like you tell me, what does this mean? Is criticizing Harry and Meghan much more important than your, your own people? Like what actually concerns your own people? Like the economy or something? What do you mean you're doing interviews about Harry and Meghan? and discussing if they should be ripped of their titles. And again, just wait a second. Like, what do you mean you're discussing about ripping Harry and Meghan's title, like giving your public opinion? After Meghan and Harry gave you all this documentary, just so you can see that they don't care about the titles. It's clear to me that Harry and Meghan don't care about the being called Duchess or Duke of Sussex. They don't care about that. All Harry and Meghan actually care from what I saw is a peace of mind just to be left alone without being followed around by all these media and stuff. That's what Harry and Meghan care about. It's not about the fame for them. They don't actually want to be, uh, to be seen by all these people. That's why they left the UK to have their own lives. They're struggling to make a living. Like, what do you mean about these titles? You can just take them away. Someone even said that Britain is a country where millions are struggling to make ends meet in a crippling cost of living crisis, while tabloid newspapers and their commentators spread their time telling us to hate Meghan and Harry. But these people are truly delusional. What do you mean you're talking about ripping off titles of Harry and Meghan? When clearly what I saw is that Harry and Meghan were addressing about just their privacy and being able to raise their kids in a safe environment without all these media like running around. That's what they were addressing. And not never talked anything negative about like anyone. They were just telling their truth. And so if really they if the UK uh, press and the some of the leaders of the UK don't have anything to do other than just talk about Harry and Meghan, then let them go ahead and take all those titles from them because clearly that's not what Harry and Meghan are addressing. They're addressing about their security and their safety and just feeling like normal people and not being hated on like what the UK media is trying to like spread. That's what Harry and Meghan are clearly 
talking about. And as I end this podcast, I have to laugh at the British tabloids asking Netflix if they thought that Harry and Meghan docuseries was worth their 100 million contract. 100 million US dollars contract. And just by Harry and Meghan becoming the hashtag number one rated show in major markets all around the world makes it a huge Netflix win. Everything that Harry and Meghan touch is golden. They are truly blessed. These British tablets didn't believe. They didn't believe that Harry and Meghan was going to like even get all those ratings in these different countries. Their narrative has always been wrong. Everything that they've said that they've said about Harry and Meghan has been wrong. And they should be ashamed of themselves right now because they've always spread all this hate against innocent people. But we love Harry and Meghan so much and are going to continue supporting them through everything. Because either way, they're always going to win in everything that they touch. Just see God. See what God has done for them. They're truly blessed and they'll continue being blessed because that's clearly uh, who they are. The people who are hardworking and are highly favored. May they continue staying that way. And also for you Sussex fans, May we continue staying positive. Let's continue praying for Harry and Meghan. Let's continue praying for ourselves as we go through this life. And may you all have a great day or a great night. May you all be blessed. And I pray for good health upon each and every one of you as you continue supporting Harry and Meghan. And as you also support us, we say thank you so much. And so, see you all on the next podcast as we await uh, the new episodes next week. And see you all on the next podcast. Goodbye.